Welcome to Dunbar, one of Scotland's prettiest seaside towns. If I was to describe Dunbar succinctly for you, it would be fish and chips, beaches, harbours and a drop of history. How about we go and have a look round? Well, we travel to Dunbar today on this ScotRail Class 385, and it's a bit of a first for me. Up until recently, the Edinburgh ScotRail services to Dunbar were only stopping once at Musselburgh, and that's been going on for many, many years. But last month, for the first time ever, they started stopping at Wallyford, which is my home train station. So that's a win-win for me. It means I can come to Dunbar on the train whenever I like. Before we head into town, let's just have a quick look round this cute little station. It's a lovely mixture of old and new. Here's the old, and there's the new. And what have we got here? Well, this is the only train station I've ever been to in the UK that has its own wishing well. That really is a lovely, cute little station, isn't it? And it's on the East Coast Main Line, so a great place to train spot. Lots of LNER Azumas and other trains flying by really fast. Cute station and looks like cute pub as well. The station yard. Maybe we'll go in there on the way back. Just round from the station, we have the War Memorial and then Dunbar. Parish Church, which always looks magnificent as you sail through the station on the train. There's been a church of one form or another on that site since 1197. Oh my goodness, I just caught sight of the waves down one of the side streets on the beach. They are absolutely gigantic today. Stick around till the end of the video. When we get to the harbour, we're in for a treat. Hector's Artisan Pizza is well worth a visit if you're in town. I've had some fabulous food in there. Fabulous meatballs as well as pizzas too. Could you resist a chocolate from the Tipsy Truffle? Is it too early for a beer? Dunbar, of course, is where they make the world famous Bellhaven beer. Bellhaven Best, to be precise, and it is genuinely one of the best beers you can get in the UK. A pint and heavy, absolutely smooth, golden, and delicious. The Christmas decorations are still up, of course, but next to the Christmas tree is the Dunbar Townhouse. This is the Mercat Cross. We can definitely feel the power of history here, can't we? If artisan pizzas aren't your thing there, we have the best fish and chip shop in Dunbar. And if artisan pizza and fish and chips isn't your thing, how about Street Burger? There are so many places to eat here in Dunbar. That's a beautiful redstone building, isn't it? And a sign pointing us down to the harbour. Oh my goodness, can you see in the gap between those buildings, the size of those waves, really foaming white horses. That looks rough. And I do love this statue. 
the creel loaders, the fishwives of Dunbar, with an extra added bonus. The little kitty down at the bottom. Here's the harbour, and it looks rough in the harbour. Goodness gracious me. At this end of the harbour is Dunbar Castle, or what remains of it. In the summer, this thing becomes home to hundreds and hundreds of gannets and seagulls and kitty wakes. At the moment, it's actually quite peaceful. Wait till the summer, though. It gets a bit noisy then. This part of the castle is known as the Hidden Hatchery. Maybe that's where they brought the prisoners in to take them to the dungeons. Just look at those waves beyond the walls. Well, I hadn't realised one of the pioneers of the propeller was born here in Dunbar, Robert Wilson, back in 1803. Even though it looks like there's a load of mist surrounding the castle, it's actually spray from the sea, from those big waves, rather than actual mist. Or is that the same thing? Well, I guess this is hardly surprising. They've actually padlocked the gate onto the other side of the harbour, so we can't, unfortunately, go up onto the sea wall. But to be honest, going up onto the sea wall would be a very foolhardy thing to do today. However, we will be able to see the waves from just over here. Yep, I think there'll be a vantage point we can use in here. The camera is not going to be doing this justice. Those waves are absolutely huge, towering waves. The thing is, despite the towering waves bashing against the rocks here, there's hardly any wind at all. These waves are the remnants of Storm Gerrit and the current Storm Hank, which are ravaging the UK at the moment. It makes for pretty spectacular viewing, doesn't it? Dunbar actually has two harbours. The one we've just seen, that's Victoria Harbour, the big harbour, and here is a much smaller one, but maybe we'll get some better view from the waves from the harbour wall on the smaller harbour. Oh, I love it. This boat's called Valhalla, and it looks like those waves came all the way from Valhalla, doesn't it? This is a very impressive memorial. So much mist. The harbour looks positively tranquil compared to what's happening on the other side of the harbour wall. <laughs> you know, I could watch those waves all day, but we have a train to catch, so we're going to head back to Dunbar Station.
It's actually been lovely today to be able to come down and see waves as big and as foaming as this without having to be buffeted by wind and rain at the same time. Normally in Scotland, waves like this equate to howling gales and driving rain. But today, I'm completely bone dry and there's not a whisper of wind in the air. I just can't keep away from the sea. One more vantage point and then we're going to the station. Well, what did you think of Dunbar? And more particularly, what did you think of those incredible waves? Of course, in the summer, it'll be a lot more peaceful and people do go swimming and boating from Dunbar beaches and from Dunbar Harbour. In fact, if you're coming on holiday to Edinburgh this summer, you could really do worse than hopping on one of these trains 25 minutes from Edinburgh Waverley direct to Dunbar and taking a stroll round this fantastic town, popping into one of those pubs, popping into one of those restaurants. Well worth a visit. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rogerlog. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until the next one, remember, there's always something to see. So get out there and find it. Mm -hmm.